Hello. Um, we've just I've just made a, a big breakthrough. Uh, finally got the motor working with the um, with the inside the car. Um, and I'm going to show you that right now. So here's the car. Um, the battery is at the moment is external, but it will be connected into the battery pack in there. Here's the Pi with the Wi-Fi. Uh, power going into my uh, going into the wall at the moment but it has it does work with the battery I've tried it here's an, a single H gate and a an, an extension board for the Pi okay so I'm gonna log in on my computer I'm gonna I'm gonna log in again because I waited too long And I'm going to log in again, this time using the correct password. Okay, we're in. Now, I've already made a test for this. Let's see if I can open it up. Uh, no. Motor test, that seems about right. Um, the Raspberry Pi's input output requires root, so let's do that. Let's put sudo in and press enter, and hopefully everything will work. This is actually the first time I've tested it inside with yeah whatever, every with everything. Yeah, that's uh, not working backwards. Okay. Let's see. Let's control C out if I can. Has the Pi just crashed? That looks to me like the Pi has just run out of power and crashed. Right, let's see. Okay, here it goes again. Um, I've moved, well I'm moving now actually, the Raspberry Pi closer because I think it may have just been a problem with the, um, with the, with the Pi moving and the cable becoming dislodged. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, the, the Pi is still on. I may have just, okay, the password entered correctly first time this time, which is incredible. I mean, uh, right. No, it hasn't remembered what I just put. Python motor test with a pseudo in front. Okay. There we go. Moving forwards and backwards, and there's no motor to yet. Perfect. Beautiful. Right. Well, first thing I'm going to do is put the next motor in, make sh using the chip that uh, I have obtained, but now can't find, but it's somewhere here, somewhere around here, um, and I'm going to put it directly onto this board using the same battery as the other motor, probably, may have to use a separate battery so that enough current is provided. Um, I'm also going to test this with the input from the camera and w with a battery and then after I've um, put in the new Pi, the new uh, motor and tested it with the, uh, the Raspberry Pi's battery I'm then going to use, resolder this battery connection up to the battery inside the rope, the um, the base for the robot and then it's up to Finley and Billy to do their job. Alright, see you.